we broke down. The, uh... I forgot what this is, the tie rod snapped on her way to San Luis Obispo. Thankfully yesterday we uh, stopped at Starbird in Sunnyvale to eat. And uh, when we started up the car again, <laughs> it just wouldn't go into drive and wouldn't turn. So I'm waiting on that tow truck. We just, uh, we spent, we spent the night here because uh, it was like 10, 11 o'clock. Called the t called AAA. AAA said they couldn't tow us because we don't have seats in the van in the back. And they gave us a local tow company. The local tow company said they couldn't tow us last night because it was too late and they don't have enough drivers. So we slept in the parking lot. The tow company said, just give us a call in the morning. We'll have more drivers and we can tow you wherever you need to go. So we're gonna get towed to a mechanic that's literally three street lights away. And we'll see, we'll see what happens, but we'll see how much it costs. Thankfully it didn't happen while we were driving. We would have lost control of the, of the van. Um, who knows what have, would have happened, but very blessed that it literally broke in the parking lot and not while we're driving on the freeway, not while we're a hundred plus miles away from home. We're thankfully very close to home. The tow truck was right here. I don't know where it went. I'll be back. So the homie Manny at Fortes Bros hooked us up with his uh, mechanic who can fix it today. The issue. Broken tie rod on the right passenger side. And uh, I guess we'll be on the road later. Does he though? Okay, so it's been a long day. Um, the tow truck driver dropped us off at his mechanic in Sunnyvale that could fit us in for today. As soon as we dropped it off though, they were going to lunch. So we are waiting at a park um, close by to kill time and we'll be back. Well, I'm going to go back and figure out how much it's going to cost to replace the tie rod on the wheel and how much, how long it's going to take. Hopefully it's just today. All right. Well, after what's, it's almost been 24 hours since we've been stranded in uh, <laughs> Sunnyvale. Probably like 18 hours. 18 hours. But finally done. We're driving, but we're not.
not going to go to slow today. We're going to get some tacos and then go home. So far, so good. Nothing's breaking. It's actually feeling good. You want to tell them what, what so happened? What you got? The tie rod, basically, the tie rod is what holds the wheel straight and also what steers the wheel with when you're steering. So that cracked and um, it's probably a bunch of stuff. One, one, we hit some fat ass potholes. Not only, not only have I hit potholes in Mexico, but also here, just in the Bay Area, there's so many potholes on the 101 that I've ran over in this car already. So I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm gonna say it's pothole related is what snapped it. Um, so yeah, that thing broke and we got towed. We were waiting forever to get towed. Literally, we didn't even go that far. We've been in like one, maybe, three mile radius from where the car wouldn't it started but where it wouldn't move to the mechanic and shout out to Manny the tow truck driver and Boo the guy who just fixed the car. Angel. So yeah. We're we're good now and uh we're driving and we're gonna get food. But uh first breakdown in the van this is going to make an interesting con uh, content, a good video. I hope it gets a bunch of likes and it goes viral in the van life uh, hashtag. Um, so, broken down in Silicon Valley, van life.